Hey guys, it's Lori. I'm gonna do a vlog today and just share my day with you. I got a lot of stuff going on today, so I thought I'd just take you along. One of the things I have to do is a Walmart pickup order. So I'm gonna share part of that with you. I'm gonna share like my own personal groceries. I have my index card right here, but my own personal groceries and everything else that's in that order is like for gifting. So it was a $278 order, so it's a huge one, but I'm not gonna show every single thing in this video or it would be so super long. And I just felt like doing a vlog today. So anyway, what else do I have on my card? I have to go to my job, I have to go to the bank. I ordered checks for my checking account, for my own checking account. We have checks for like our, our joint checking account, but my own checking account, I don't. Well, I wanna get some checks for those and I don't have them yet. And I need to go to the bank to get cash out since I don't have the checks yet because I need to stop up at our little village office here in town before they close today. I got to make sure I'm back in town before they close, which I should be. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm getting a little bit earlier start today. I actually um, went ahead and purchased a plot for my dad at the cemetery and it's right next to John's dad. I was so happy that that was available. There was a single plot available right next to John's dad. I think that's so awesome. So he was cremated, so um, we haven't done anything yet, partly because of COVID and there's just some different reasons. But anyway, it's no big deal. It's, there's nothing, it's nothing bad. But what else do I have to do? Walmart, oh, I have to stop at another client's house that they're in Florida right now, but their son and his wife and I don't know, they stayed at his house, at, at their house, I should say, um, for a few days while they were in town and they left their garage lights on, like their outside lights that are on their garage and they want those shut off. Apparently their neighbors must've called and said, hey, your lights are on. So they want me to stop by and shut those off. I might stop at Dollar Tree and it's not gonna be for much at all. And I won't, I won't actually say, I said it wasn't gonna be much, but <laughs> it's not gonna be like that this time for sure because I've already vowed to myself that I'm just gonna live vicariously through all these other Dollar Tree haulers, watch what they get and say, oh, that's so cool <laughs> and be done with it because I have got enough stuff sitting around at my house right now. I'm trying to go through it, trying to use it for its intended purpose as it is. And I did stop at Dollar Tree a couple days ago and I haven't shown that to you guys yet. So if I, whatever I get today, I'll combine the two and just show you everything at once. Somebody just went live, who was it? Oh, I missed a notification. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, I may stop at Dollar Tree because there's a couple little things that I really need, want, I don't know, but it's, it's, I have like four or five things on a list, so we'll see how many things I come out with. It won't be very many, and I promise myself that. absolutely no idea how to shut those lights off. I don't see a switch for them anywhere. I'm going to have to call and ask. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. The garage light is by their front door. I would think it would have been by the back door or out in the garage, but it's by the front door. So now it's off. Okay, off to work. Job is done and I'm sweating to death again. So I did come outside with my coat on. It's 32 degrees, so, but I just took it off and sat it next to me. Oh my goodness. I have got to get a drink. I haven't had, I've had exactly this much water today, which is like a sip. <laughs> That's it. Look at my hair. Oh, drop the lid. Okay. That was refreshing. I did my Walmart check-in, so they're expecting me in six minutes, probably five minutes now. So, okay, let's go to Walmart. All right, I am in spot number two right now. Just waiting for him to come out. And when I went to shut off those garage lights and I had to call to ask him where the switch was, I had also picked up their mail for them and they asked me what they had. They're like, well, is it all junk mail? Cause they're having their mail forwarded, but the junk mail doesn't forward. <laughs> so apparently, but anyways, I told them what they had. 
And one of them was an envelope called Valpac. That's what it said on the envelope anyway. And he said, oh, that's just some coupons. He said, just throw those away or keep them. He said, there's usually some decent coupons in there, so you can just have those. I opened them and I was checking them out. And there's this shop called Fergie's. It's a local shop. It's not far from here. I'm going to stop on the way home because there's something in there I want to get for my brother for Christmas. I didn't even know of this place, but, you know, that's kind of sad. There's a lot of little local businesses that I probably don't even know about. But anyway, they sell all kinds of different, like, burgers and fries and pies and stuff like that and coney dogs, stuff like that. But they also have their own line of specialty spices. And one of the things that they have is bacon jam. <laughs> so I'm going to stop and see if they have any. And if they do, I'm going to get some for my brother for Christmas. I tried to order that wreath again that plain wreath it's like two dollars and 88 cents or something like that and they had it when I ordered it but I got a notification that it's out of stock dang it I want it because I don't have any of those Dollar Tree wreaths that I thought I had I'm gonna make a, a wreath for the cemetery and it's getting it's getting late I need to get that done and get it out there my grandma's gonna start getting mad at me I'm gonna keep trying hopefully I'll get it now it's just become a challenge they're coming out with an order and it's really big so that's probably mine <laughs> oh geez oh my gosh they're having trouble getting out the door that's pretty bad <laughs> I think the wheel's stuck on something yeah there's like three of them trying to <laughs> oh my Hi. Hey there. What's the name? Lori Cotterman. Yes. They couldn't remember what spot you were in, so I was just oh, kind of guessing. Sorry. I saw my substitution, and that's fine. Okay. And I saw the unavailable thing. I'm going to get that wreath yet. Okay. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> you see how big it is? <laughs> it's pretty tall. I wonder how many bags I'll get this time. Well, the entire back end is full. So I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'm probably gonna stop and run into Dollar Tree really quick. Then uh, I'll show you my stuff from Walmart. And the Dollar Tree stuff, I'll show you another time because like I said, uh, I do have some other stuff at home that I got a couple days ago. So I'll just show it all to you at once. So, okay, off to the bank. <sighs> okay, I just came out of Dollar Tree. And this is my main Dollar Tree, my the nice big Dollar Tree that I go to all the time. It's recently changed management. Now the the woman that is now the general manager of this place, she was already the assistant manager to begin with. And it's always been fantastic. This has always been a great Dollar Tree. Guys, I am so, so disappointed. It was a trashed out mess in there. And I have never, ever seen the shelves so empty. Never. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this place is called Fergie's. They have a drive through window, so I didn't even have to go in, which is pretty cool. I got this jar of bacon jam. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. So that's what my brother's getting for Christmas. <laughs> wow. He's going to love it. Anything bacon, he loves it. <laughs> that was $8. $8 for an 11 ounce jar, but. That's all right, it's bacon. <laughs> Guys, there was something I really want from the Dollar Tree that I couldn't find, so I stopped at the other Dollar Tree. The crazy guy's here. Oh my God. I did manage to get away from him pretty quick, so that's good. Oh, Jesus. I, he still said, I miss you so much. At least he didn't tell me he loved me this time. Wow. It just wouldn't be a vlog without this, would it? Oh my goodness. I'm home and I'm gonna show you what I got at Walmart. I got a lot more than what I'm about to show you, but I'll show you all that stuff in a different haul because it's for gifting. So anyway, I got a six pack of Diet Dr. Pepper and they were out of stock on my Coke Zero. So I didn't get that. I got John some of his black silk coffee that he loves. I got another big five pound bag of this shredded cheddar cheese. We still have some of this in the fridge, quite a bit of it really, but I'm gonna be using a lot of cheese 
for my Christmas dinner as far as, I'm not gonna be using five pounds, but we use a lot of cheese on a regular basis anyway. So anyway, I just decided to get that kind, the great big giant bag. I'm gonna be putting it in a potato casserole. My boys asked for these julienne potatoes that they always have at Aldi at holiday time. They didn't have them. They don't have them at all. Like I can't find them anywhere. I even asked and they're like, we didn't get any, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm just gonna make like a hash brown casserole. It's actually like, just like Cracker Barrel's hash brown casserole. So I got some Triscuits. This is gonna be on a tray with that cheese ball, the cheese spread stuff that I make that I talked about in one of my last videos, one of my last haul videos. I think it was in my baking video actually. I also grabbed some stuff to make a bean dip that I make and it takes this chili with no beans. I got four cans of this, and I also throw in a can of refried beans, so I got some of those. And it also takes Velveeta. Now, I usually use the big Velveeta. This isn't the biggest size. I usually use the biggest size, but I have some in my refrigerator now. It's the biggest size, but there's about half of it left. So I'll just throw that in along with this. I mean, Velveeta lasts forever. I got some of these imitation bacon pieces and some of this gourmet nacho cheese sauce and also some potatoes. These are the jumbo baking potatoes. So the cheese sauce and the bacon bits, they're gonna go on top of the potatoes. We're gonna have that one night for dinner. And I also have set up my hot chocolate bar but I noticed that my white chocolate sauce that I have over there and my regular chocolate sauce is almost empty. So I got some more chocolate sauce. They were all out of the white chocolate sauce, but that's okay, this will be fine. I probably won't even get the white chocolate. That was really just for, I don't know, trying to be a little fancy, I guess. <laughs> a half gallon of milk. And for Christmas dinner, I bought some more of these yams. For Thanksgiving, I just got one can and I thought nobody, not that many people really like the sweet potatoes anyway, so I didn't worry about getting too much. Well, they were completely gone. Like we didn't even have any leftover for anybody to take home. So I got two for Christmas and I'll put these together for Christmas then. That way, you know, we'll have plenty, including leftovers. I got some more of this chocolate caramel cream. Guys, stuff's so good. It's so good and it's so cheap. But anyway, and I got John a little package of bacon bits. I'm gonna be going to Costco this week too, so in a few days. So in a few days, I'll have a Costco haul coming up, just so you know. Okay, um, is that everything? Oh, this, this right here. Sleek It, Sleek it Iron Straight Heat Spray by L'Oreal. I love this stuff when I straighten my hair. I spray it all over my hair before I straighten it, and my hair comes out so super soft when I use this, so it's really good. I really recommend that. I got a whole lot more, so I feel like that's not everything. Oh, that's not everything. There's one more thing that I was gonna show you, hold on. I had this sitting over here, actually I had it sitting on my stove. <laughs> so anyway, I put it in this box because that's how I'm gonna store it until Christmas. Some Jiffy corn muffin mix, I got two boxes of those, although I'm probably only gonna need one. I got six more cans of corn and there's two, somewhere in here there's cream corn, two cans of cream corn. And I'm gonna be making another corn casserole because of that, same deal. I barely had anything left. Like there was no leftovers at all. I mean, my kids got to take a little bit home with them, but not much. So I told you, they pig out on that stuff. And also, that go, this goes in the hash brown casserole and it's cream of chicken soup. So I got the big can and I also, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how much it takes. I usually, I don't measure. I don't have an actual recipe for it. But anyway, I know it takes at least this much. So I went ahead and got two extra small cans because I like to have this stuff on hand anyway. So if I don't need it, that's fine. And that's everything for real this time. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.